Welcome to this tutorial on Flipgrid, how to spark and save discussion threads, how to incorporate into small group work, and how to embed in Oaks. If I think that Mike's video is worth sparking a new thread, that's where Spark the Video comes in. So if this is inspiring and I want more people to discuss, I hit Spark Video, and this creates a topic using the student's video as the topic resource. So remember when we created our instructions before? Now he's sparked, he's the topic, and I can update. And when I go to the board, he is his own board. So here we go. This is view Michael's response and share your ideas. My replies are already there. These three different Aaliyahs have had a lot to say about Mike, and I can continue to add to this board. Notice that now Michael's spark video is its own little discussion thread topic. Now, if I go back to the project one idea, let's say that I love his video so much I wanna save it for later. Flipgrid has a mixtape option where I add the response to the mixtape and now I can create a mixtape. Maybe this is important class videos. And now once I create it, I have a mixtape right here, my important class videos. And every time there's an important class video, I just add it to my mixtape and now I have a collection. One thing that works quite well on Flipgrid is small group work. Notice I have four groups set up here and every group's little discussion thread has its own code, as you've noticed from before. If I wanna add a fifth group, I simply add it here. It makes you add a prompt. You have to add instructions. So here we go. And we'll simply create the topic. This has its own little board, so I can copy this code, embed it in Oaks, or email it to group five. It's all set. So when I go back to the class, notice that I've got these groups. Now, if having group five over group one drives you crazy, like it drives me crazy, you can drag and pull it to the bottom. Now student work lives here and you can moderate their group discussions and threads in these individual grids. And now for the million dollar question, how do I embed this into Oaks? The important thing to know is that every grid has its own code. So if I want to share my project one idea, I click share, I copy this embed code, and then I go to content in Oaks. So I've already added content for my Flipgrid discussions and I'm going to new, I'm going to create a link. Here is my URL, my title. Now I could open as an external resource, meaning that when students click this, it pops them out, but the progress is not tracked for external resources. So I'm gonna keep it inside. I hit create and my board pops up, which is super nice. So if I impersonate a student, this is what they see. I go to content, I go to my Flipgrid discussion, and I have this link, I click it. It takes me to the board, and I can record right here like I've done before. So notice I'm making a video from inside of my Oaks content. My video is hidden until approved by my educator. And once I see that, then we've got new videos on the board and everyone can see it from Oaks content. Not only can I make this student response video active from inside of the video here, as we talked about editing that before. We can also do it from outside where this says hidden. I can make it active. Now students can see it on the board right away. And this will be visible from Oaks.